Hello, um, my name is Dr. Alison Brown, and um, the Lord, just on Saturday, gave me, which is the 1st of January 2022, gave me some deep revelation as regards what's going to be taking place this year. And what we're going to ha look at is we're going to have a look at the significance of 2022, as well as the Hebrew year 5782, because the Hebrew year commenced on the 6th of September, and that was in 2021, because that was the fast of Tishri. So that was the beginning of the Hebrew year. Okay, now there's been, I had a quick look on, on YouTube. There's so many videos there and people giving all sorts of different analyses and, and all the rest of it. Um, but at the end of the day, the Lord said, don't look at any of those. Um, I want you to just look to me and I will give you revelation to share. So if anybody else has got this teaching, um, then they would have got it directly from the Lord, I would imagine, the same as me, because we're listening to the same Holy Spirit. But anyway, so what portends for 2022? But don't forget, we're already in 5782. The Gentile calendar is just that caught up with the Hebrew calendar as regards the significance of the number two. Okay, so what is the significance though of, of all these numbers? Um, I do a lot of uh, exegesis on numerology and gematria, and you can read so much more about that in my book, God's Blueprint, Prophetic, uh, Seven Prophetic Keys, uh, and the Bereshit Prophecy, which is um, revelation again that the Lord blessed to me. You know, I, I do seek the Lord direct rather than going to other people's teachings. And um, it's, I only go to other people's teachings if the Holy Spirit prompts me to do so. Otherwise, um, now I, I've been in ministry now over 30 years. Otherwise, I prefer just to listen to the Lord. You know, I walk with the Lord. I talk with the Lord daily. And I just listen to whatever the Holy Spirit is saying to me. Okay. So... The number two in the Hebrew calendar is Bet. So we're going to have a look at the Hebrew calendar first. So 5782. Now we're reading from right to left because the Hebrew alphabet uh, is written from right to left. So we're having a look from right to left. And the number two in the he Hebrew calendar is the letter Bet. Okay, uh, that's the second letter of the alphabet in the Hebrew, um, in the Hebrew um, alphabet. Okay, and that's a picture of a house. Now, this has significance. Put this in your pocket, so to speak. It's a picture of a house. But it's also speaking about Yeshua as the second person of the Trinity. Okay, and house speaks of family. Yes, the family is in the house. Yes. So, he's, uh, and it's also the number two, and Yeshua, Jesus, is the second person of the Trinity. Now, in 2022, the zero, the zero has no particular significance apart from place value. So let's have a look at 222. So we take the zero out and have a look at 222. Reading from right to left, but it doesn't matter which way in a, in a way that we look at this, but uh, it does have some significance as regards the numbers and their <coughs> significance as regards the Hebrew alphabet. So two is house or family, but then we have 20, so uh, two, 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 we have 22, so we've done the two, that's bet, and then we have the 20, which is calf. Now calf is a picture of a hand, and that hand is like the hand of a king, like, like a, the hand of a king raising up his hand, um, with the power and authority to lift up or to suppress, okay, to lift up or to suppress, this is calf. And, and it's it's the palm of the hand in the in the Hebrew in the Hebrew alphabet, and it also speaks of a wing. Okay, it also speaks of a wing, and it's speaking of the tallit. Um, I'm wearing the tallit here. It speaks of the prayer shawl, the tallit or prayer shawl, and we you can read about that in Malachi uh, chapter four verses two and three where uh, it speaks of the wings of the eagle, of the 
wings, um, which is the prayer shawl, the wings, uh, the son of righteousness, with healing in his wings. Okay, and it's a prayer shawl. Okay, so also pop that in your pocket. Um, then we have 200, which is uh, Rish. Now, the letter Rish in the Hebrew alphabet means a chief, a leader, or the highest, or the most important. But what is the significance of all of this? The Lord then gave me a key. Yes, he presented me to me with a key. And I thought, okay, Lord, you're presenting me with a key. This is in a vision. Okay, now what, what are you saying to me here, Lord? Um, well, he then reminded me of Matthew chapter 18, verse 18, that uh, we have the keys of the kingdom. We have the authority and power to bind and to loose, uh, which again ties in with path, the authority and power to lift up or to suppress, to bind, to bind or to loose. Yes, that's the keys of the kingdom. Matthew 18, 18. So what therefore is the prediction for 2022? What exactly is the Lord saying through all of this? Well, as I mentioned, we have in bed the family of God, the church, the body of Christ. Yes? What will she do this year? That's the next question to ask. Well, okay, so bet uh, number two speaks of Yeshua, Jesus, but also speaks of a family, it speaks of a house, and here we have the family of God. Okay, the body of Christ. So what is the body of Christ going to do this year? Now the body of Christ is God's government, God's, God's government in the earth. God's government in the earth. And, and the body of Christ has power and authority, just like a king or a priest. You know, that calf, the, the you know, um, with the power to lift and to suppress as a king has the authority and power to lift someone up or to suppress, to subdue. Okay, so likewise the body of Christ has this authority and power. She has prayer wings. Malachi chapter 4 verses 2 and 3. She has the prayer wings. She has the talit. She has the prayer wings. These are prayer wings. Okay. So this is how she will achieve it. For Yeshua's given, given her the keys to the kingdom. And so, what are we talking about here? Where two or three are gathered together, I am in their midst, says the Lord. So, where two intercessors, two or three intercessors, gather together in prayer, they have authority and power to lift up or to suppress, to bind or to loose, okay? Right, so, in the name of, of course, of Yeshua, who is the second person of the Trinity. And finally, um, so we have that, and then finally, Rish, remember 200, Rish is the letter Rish in the Hebrew alphabet. So, Rish speaks of chief, speaks of leader, speaks of the most important, so what is the most important thing for us to do as believers in Yeshua? It is to pray. It is to pray. It is to do spiritual warfare. It is to bind and to loose, to lift up and to suppress. We have that authority and power in the name of Jesus. So this year, the Lord spoke to me and said, this year, my people will receive deeper revelation, deeper insight, into the authority and power that they have in my name. And the inter this is the year of the intercessors, the Lord spoke to me and said. This is the year of the spiritual prayer warriors. Okay? And, if, and you know, every believer in the body of Christ has been called to pray. You may not actually have the ministry of the intercessor, but we are all called to pray. And we all have the keys of the kingdom. And like a king or a priest, we have that authority and power in Jesus' name to bind, to loose, to lift up and to suppress. So this is the year of the intercessor. This is the year of the spiritual warrior. 
okay, to do spiritual warfare in the heavenlies. Okay, and when I'm talking about the heavenlies, I'm not talking of the highest heaven, I'm talking of the heavenlies where the prince of the power of the air rules and reigns. But we have authority and power to bind him up and we have the authority and power to loose God's will into the earth as God's government. So this is the year of the intercessor, the Lord told me. This is the year of my spiritual warriors and that they will receive greater insight, greater revelation, greater power, greater authority. They will have that revelation. Okay. So, to bind and loose, number one, to bind and loose. Now, now number two, and the Lord, the picture of the key, the, the Lord giving me this key, um, it was on a cushion, a golden key on a cushion, and the Lord was presenting this key to me. And he said, keys open and shut doors. So, as an intercessor, as a prayer warrior, you have the authority and power to open a door and to shut doors. Okay, using the keys of the kingdom of God. Glory to God. And then finally, number three, as for me in my house, we will serve the Lord. And that's in Jeremiah. And don't forget Cornelius too. His whole house got saved. Now, the Lord knows that many of his people have been praying for, for their unsaved loved ones. You know, perhaps you have that unsaved husband or an unsaved wife or children or aunties, uncles, grandmas, granddads, aunties, whatever. You know, this is the year that you and your household shall be saved. This is the year that you will start to see many of your loved ones who you may have been praying for years and years and years that they will come to know the Lord. They will at long last see the truth of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ that blindfold that Satan has had over their eyes and stopping up their ears from hearing the truth, from seeing the truth of, of the gospel, you have the authority, you have the power to bind up the devil, okay, and command him to loose your loved one so that they can see the truth of the gospel and to pray to the Lord of the harvest, to command laborers to cross their paths. So wherever they go, they will see the gospel. You know, if they go to the right, they'll see the gospel. If they go to the left, they'll see the gospel. If they go straight forward, they will see the gospel. Okay, so what about the significance of the Hebrew year, though? 5782. So there is a correlation, actually, between uh, 2022 and 5782. But let's have a look at 5782. Again, we have Bet, of the two. We're reading from right to left again. We have Bet. I have a picture of the house, the family of God. But then with the 80, we have the letter pay. Now we are in the decade since 5780. We are in the decade, the 80s. We're in the decade of the letter pay. Now what's the significance of that? Well, pay speaks of mouth. Okay, speaking forth the oracles of God. Hallelujah. Prophetic revelation. So intercessors and prayer warriors, you will also begin to speak this year with greater authority, greater power, prophetic uh, words into, into the heavenlies, prophetic words, and you will begin to see um, things taking place, things happening in the heavenlies. Uh, prophetically, you will be speaking forth prophetically as the letter pay. Um, and, and this year you'll be speaking forth in the name of Jesus with his authority and with his power, okay? And you will begin to see great breakthrough. Great breakthrough is coming. Great breakthrough. Okay, so we have prophetic utterance. We have the oracles of God going forth. Now Satan did his utmost, didn't he, in the last couple of years to silence the church. You know, everybody's wearing masks and um, churches shut down, church buildings shut down, okay? Um, but the devil lost out, didn't he? What happened? Uh, we started to use social media, like the Prophetic Insights YouTube channel. And in 2018, September 2018,
which was um, which was 5779 in the Hebrew calendar, the Lord spoke to me about starting a YouTube ministry because before I'd never done anything like this. Uh, didn't know anything about any of this at all. Um, but the Lord spoke to me when I was living at 18 The Woodlands in Wales. I'm no longer there now. Um, and at the moment, I'm in Greece. Okay, and 18 speaks about life and new beginnings. That's the letter, letter chai. The two letters there, one and eight, um, and we have chai, new beginnings. So, we now have a Bible college online. Yes, and we have students signing up online for our Bible college, which uh, incidentally is free. You can just go to our uh, email address, riveroflifeajb, riveroflifeajb at gmail.com. That's River of Life, all one word, River of Life, AJB at gmail.com. And you can sign up for our online Bible college. So the word is going on. Yes, and there's lots of churches that have started, you know, online churches, online services. So it's backfired really because if I minister to a church wherever in the UK, you know, the most people that you'll get is maybe 50, perhaps 100. But online, I can reach thousands. I can reach tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions even. Yes? So, um, and I do hope that if this teaching is a blessing to you, that you will share this video with your friends and your family and with other people so that they can be blessed with the revelation that God has given to me. Because it's not for me to teach. It's for me to give to you so that you can be blessed and encouraged. Okay. So, returning to the Hebrew calendar, we next have 700, another 5782, we now have 700. Now, that's the letters Tav and Shin together, and that speaks of the cross, okay? Shin is actually three nails, <coughs> so when Jesus was pierced, he was pierced in his two hands and his, his two feet were pierced together, so three nails, okay, and that's the letter Shin, and also Tav means the cross, and that speaks of covenant. So, and Shin also is, is a picture of three flames. And uh, Jerusalem uh, is, in the, is in the shape of the letter Shin. The topography of Jerusalem is in the, because the, the Lord's put his name there, in Jerusalem, not in New York or London or Paris, but in Jerusalem, Yerushalayim. Okay, so, so we have three, three nails there with the letter Shin and we have the cross and three flames, which speaks of, of the fire of God. Yes, the fire of God. And finally, we have the letter, the, sorry, the number five, which in the Hebrew alphabet is the letter He. Now, He is the breath of God, speaks about the breath of God, um, the Holy Spirit, Spirit breathing life, life. So, an interpretation of 5782, the year we're right in at the moment, in, according to the Hebrew calendar, which will continue until September of this year. We have the family of God in the name of Yeshua, the family of God in the name of Yeshua, speaking forth the cross salvation, speaking forth pay, speaking forth the cross salvation by the power of the Holy Spirit. So again, it ties in with 2022. So the high priests or the kings um, of Yeshua, we are kings and priests of Yeshua, who is King of Kings and Lord of Lords, of course, will speak forth God's will into the earth more than ever before this, this year. Intercessors will use their authority and power in Yeshua's name. And now the number seven, remember the five, seven, eight, two, the number seven is also a picture of a sword. And remember uh, Hebrews chapter four, that the word of God goes forth as a sword dividing asunder soul and spirit. Um, bone and marrow, etc. Okay, you can have a look at that for yourself. It's a double-edged sword. So the sword, the word of God, the word of your mouth, speaking forth the oracles of God, speaking forth God's will into this earth. Okay, and now if you add up the, the numbers 5782, what do they come to? 22. <laughs> yes, they come to 22. So again, that reinforces the church, the family of God, operating in greater authority and power uh, in this coming year. 
okay, with the power and authority to suppress, to lift up, to open doors, to shut doors, you know, using your keys of the kingdom of God uh, in Jesus' name. Now, two plus two equals the number four. What's that in the Hebrew uh, alphabet? Well, that's the letter Dalet, which is a door. <laughs> so again, keys opening doors. Uh, so we have all this revelation, and you can now go to Revelation chapter 3, verse 20, and Revelation 4, 1. Okay, behold, I stand at the door and knock. Yes, so you open the door to allow Jesus to come into whatever situation. Yes, you want the Lord to work in and through by the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay, no, it's not the rapture yet. So I think one or two people might have been saying that it, this is the year that the rapture is going to take place. No, no, this is all preparation. Do you understand what the Lord is doing? This is all very much preparation. This is very much, this year speaks of speaking forth the oracles of God, speaking forth God's will in this earth, in the authority and power of Jesus' name, okay, in preparation for the end time harvest that's going to come. Amen. Glory to God. So this is a year of preparation in that respect. This is the year of the intercessors, the prayer warriors, preparing the ground. And you will also begin to see uh, a harvest in your own homes and your own families and people that you've been praying for for years will all start to come to know the Lord as you bind up the, that blindfold that the devil has over their eyes and their ears and you loose the, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ into their hearts. You have the authority and power to do this. And this year, you will see great results from your prayer. Great results from your prayer. Things that you've been praying for for so long will, will come to pass this coming year. And it's all preparation. You know, I, I see a picture of a, like a plow plowing up the ground and the seed going forth, the seed going forth for a mighty harvest that, that's to come. Okay, now let's have a, lastly, we're just going to quickly have a look at um, the word key in the Hebrew language. So the word key in the Hebrew language is spelt with the letters mem, pe, tav, and chet. Okay, what does this mean? Okay, well, men speaks of chaos. Pe speaks of the mouth yet again. Tav is a picture of the cross or covenant. And Chet is, speaks of a fence, speaks of se separating. Okay, so we, we have a, a, a chaotic situation. There's been a lot of chaos over the last couple of years with the coronavirus, etc. And uh, more famines and earthquakes and pestilences and diseases and all the rest of it. A lot of chaos but the intercessors are coming forth and they have the keys of the kingdom and they are going to speak forth the oracles of God and bring to bring to pass what the Lord wants in this earth because we are God's government in this earth okay and then you will speak forth the cross you will speak forth salvation you will speak forth the covenant of God that's the letter tab and then finally chat well Chet speaks of offence, it speaks of separation. Um, it's also the number eight, which is the number of new beginnings. Okay, and it speaks, also speaks of eternity. Okay, so the sheep will be separated from the goats. Those who are going to uh, receive Yeshua will be separated from those who are not. And also the Lord spoke to me and said this, the Lord this year is seriously going to start refining his church. He knows who his true believers are. He knows who his faithful people are. And you may have been praying for years by faith. You know, you're a faithful child of the Most High God. And um, there's going to be some exposures in the body of Christ this year. Uh, some that have, whose hearts have not been right with the Lord and whose ministers have not been right with the Lord. There's going to be um, a greater revelation and exposure um, of false ministries, uh, false pastors, false prophets, false teachers, etc. You know, they, they, 
I think we're also going to see one or two maybe quite big named ministries um, will be exposed because they've been serving the God of Mammon. They've been putting money before the Lord and the Lord won't share his throne with anyone. He won't share his throne with the God of Mammon. And remember, the love of money is the root of all evil, the love of money. When you put money before the Lord, then you are uh, in serious, um, serious trouble, serious trouble, uh, because the Lord will not share his throne with anyone. Uh, so, you know, this is also a time for us to examine our hearts and our heart motives, because the Lord knows the, your heart motive. Um, you know, are you a faithful, true servant of the Most High God? Are you seeking to serve the Lord and Him alone? Or are you in ministry, perhaps, because you think, oh, that's a way to get some money, to get money to, you know, get uh, a huge, big mansion or, you know, hundreds of, I don't know, airplanes, whatever it might be, um, so that you can flit around the world and, uh, you know, enjoy yourself. But woe to the, those who, who are like that and who, who don't... Remember the rich young ruler? You know, he, he wouldn't sell all of his goods to follow Jesus. He wouldn't give, give it up. Um, you know, I, I examine myself here as well. And, um, you know, I, I thank the Lord that I was willing to give up everything. I gave up my house in the UK. It was repossessed. I went to Africa, I served the Lord for three years in Kenya, and I came back to the UK with just £25 in my pocket because my home had been repossessed, I had nowhere to go. Um, but the Lord stepped in, the Lord stepped in, and you know, he knew my faithfulness, he knew that um, I was even willing to be a martyr for him uh, because a fatwa was issued on me when I was out in Kenya by the Muslims. Uh, a fatwa means an a, a order for you to be executed um, by the, by the Muslims um, for you for them to kill you. And uh, but the Lord's hedge of protection was around me because He knew that I was serving Him and Him alone. I'd given up my home, I'd given up my family, I'd given up my country, I'd given up everything to follow the Lord and to serve Him. And I'd do it all again if the Lord asked me to, you know, because. What, what, why put all your, you know, why look to material things? Why? Uh, these things are, are going to pass. These things are fleeting. Just look to the Lord because the Lord, that is eternity. That is your eternal salvation. That is your eternal life. Okay? Uh, in Him. All these things in this world, they're fleeting, they're passing. Don't store up for yourself treasures in this world. You know, where the, as the Lord says, where rust and, and moths and decay and thieves can break in and steal or whatever. Yeah, you know, just put your faith and your trust in the Lord. Use your wealth for the gospel to go forth in, these, in, these, in this last hour of the church age because we are so close Get my book, God's Blueprint, Seven Prophetic Keys, and the Bereshit Prophecy, and you will there, thereby see in that book how close we now are uh, to the coming of the Lord, to the rapture of the church, to the fulfillment of the Feast of Rosh Hashanah. Okay, well, I think that's it for today. Um, and, you know, I just... Trust that the Lord will be with you, that he will cause his light to shine upon you and keep you safe. And don't forget to pray in the authority and power of Jesus' name this year. Speak his word, be it that oracle of God. And, you know, it doesn't matter what you're doing. In, you know, you might say to me, oh, well, I only work in a supermarket, I only work in a shop, I only... Yes, but use your prayer time to speak. Speak forth God's will into this earth this year because this year is the year of the intercessor. This year is the year of the prayer warrior, the spiritual prayer warrior. And you have authority and power in Jesus' name to bind and loose, to lift up, to suppress. This year speaks all about that. So be blessed. Shalom from Dr. Alison Brown 
fear and grace. <laughs> okay, God bless.